Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project, have an amazing recent design by Steve Good. He uploaded this about a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago, and it is a fishing theme project. I recently went out on a boat about a week ago for the first time in, gosh, probably 15 years, and just cruised along the lake, and it brought back so many memories. I went out there with a friend to test a trolling motor. We had a good time, had lunch out on the lake, and just swapped stories. And it just reminded me of times fishing with my grandfather. I remember coming home from school, getting my school work done, and he'd be like, want to go to the lake and fish? And we always had a good time, and I cherish those memories. And a lot of the times it wasn't even about fishing and catching anything. It was about the time spent with your loved ones and your friends. So this pattern, when I saw it, really reminded me of that. And then going to the lake, like I said, really wanted me to do this project. Again, it's a fishing theme project by Steve Good, and it is a man fishing on the boat. You see man's best friend there with him. He's reeling in the big one eagerly, probably going to make a trophy out of it. And this is designed to look like a trophy. It is in the shape of a fish with the image in the middle. And this is a 3D layered project made entirely from quarter inch plywood. And as you can see, I've got eight layers here, so I'm going to go on stack cut and make two of each layer. So there's the first layer, second layer, third layer fourth layer and of course you can mix it around of course this piece will always be the back the solid silhouette I've already got the patterns printed out and attached to the wood wood clear packing tape ready to scroll so all we got to do now is head over to the drill press and drill all of our pilot holes so we can come back to the scroll saw and start fishing let's get started and over here on the drill press we're going to use a small drill bit to drill all the pilot holes in three of the four pieces we are cutting of course the backer board doesn't have no pilot holes and then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling I am using number five ultra reverse shark tooth scroll saw blades and they cut through these two pieces of quarter inch plywood exceptionally well with minimal chip out as I said at the beginning this is a Steve Good design and if you guys would like to try this pattern, you can download it over at his website for free at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com over in the free pattern catalog. Going through here, getting some of the smaller interior cuts done. Just taking my time with it and letting the blade do the work. And here we are doing the very final interior cut. And now we'll put the tension back on the blade and begin releasing the four pieces from the wood to complete all scroll work. And for anyone wondering, my tension on my scroll saw is a 3.5 and the speed I'm using is between a 5 and a 6. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. I just have a bunch of fond memories of fishing with my grandfather and really wanted to do this project, doing the final outside cut here and you want to stay as loyal as you can to the cut line here because all four of these pieces stack up and that's what makes the 3D effect that Steve Good has going on with this project. Again just Taking my time and letting the blade do the work. I am comfortable with a fast speed on my scroll saw. If you need to slow yours down, you can. 
Now we're going to head over to the workbench and remove all the pieces and patterns from the waste wood. And take one of each layer over to the other workbench and sand both front and back sides with 100 grit sandpaper and the palm sander. Getting everything nice and smooth. And back over on the main workbench, we're going to begin assembling everything with Gorilla Wood Glue. And I'm taking my time to line everything up to make it look like one solid piece when finished. And then I'm going to add spring clamps to hold everything together. And I'll let that dry around an hour or so and then come back and remove the clamps and put the piece on a wire and go outside and give it several coats of clear gloss clear coat and I'll hang it on a nail outside to let it dry in the breeze and the project was complete And here we have the completed Fisherman Fishing in the fish silhouette. It came out real good. It scrolled very well over on the scroll saw. There is some nice detail on the scene on the middle with the mountainscape, the man fishing with his dog and catching the fish. There's a little bit of veining detail in here that really adds character and added detail to the piece. Really nice 3D effect. Steve Good done an amazing job designing this pattern as he does with all of his pattern. And thank you, Steve Good, for another amazing design. I hope you're well, my friend. Really, really awesome. And this piece just brings back memories of me fishing with my grandfather when I was young. And now I want to go fishing again, so I might end up doing that. But really, really awesome. I had fun making this. The final four outside cuts are the same identical cut and that is the fish outline silhouette and you need to stay as loyal as you can to the cut line so when you stack all four of these layers up of quarter inch plywood and glue them together after sanding that they are one and make it look like one solid piece of wood you can stain this you can paint it if you're good with painting with acrylic craft paints or something maybe you would want to paint the interior design to really make it pop all I've got to do now is add a hanger to it and hang it on the wall and finish up the other one. I've got it gluing up now. But really, really awesome. I hope you guys like watching me make this video. I had fun making it. And again, I hope you guys like watching me making it and maybe picked up a tip or trick along the way. That's about all for this video. Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.